I was going to walk through some, you know, I've now been blessed by you to, to have this job for about 60 days now. Um, and, and, and in many ways I am truly humbled, um, but i got to tell you, uh, my number one impression is the numbers are much worse than, than almost anyone understands. And you've been lied to. We've all been lied to. And uh, for my partisan friends, it's a pox in all their houses. Um, the numbers are really ugly. And I want to talk through a little bit of that. Um, it, it, it's been a fascinating experience. Have you ever had an experience where it's the most interesting thing you've ever done? It's like grad school on steroids. And every night you lay your head down on the pillow and you have this hurt in the bottom of your tummy because you know, I don't know how I stand in front of you and, 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 and get the numbers absorbed because there's so much folklore. Um, we were holding a meeting, our very first one, we held down in Tempe. Had a great crowd, a lot of people. And I asked the question, how many of you thought if we didn't have the wars, if we just, if we never entered the wars, the numbers would be okay in the, in the deficit? And a whole bunch of hands went up. Um, the total, in all 10 years, cost of the wars is 6% of our debt. Equals 6% of our debt. The un, the, but, but yet I had almost half this room raising their hands. And I realized how many of us haven't absorbed um, what's really going on in a lot of the numbers. Um, and there's going to be, and one of the things I wanted to do, so the second thing is, I wanted to show some of the slides. We're not going to go through all 50 some slides. Um, but it is something we're doing on our congressional website is I do mostly financial stuff. I'm on financial services. So my life is how do I create jobs? How, how do I get the markets to work? How do I fix what's going on with our homes and our mortgages? And try to do it in a way where you stop the bankruptcy of the country. <laughs> in that case, and, and forgive me, this can sound horrible and rotten. I meet people when I'm there who love the job so much, they will lie, they will vote any way, they will do whatever is necessary to keep the job. And it's one of the reasons Washington has lied to us for so long. Because I think we've had a bunch of people that cared more about getting reelected. Um, the day I start loving the job, does that become the day I defend getting reelected more than doing the job? And I know that's been a hard concept to communicate, um, but uh, whether you're on the left, or the right, um, you have the you have the absolute rights to understand what this government has done and what Washington has, has done to to your future, your kids' future. I am ruthless on trying to make sure that these are not partisan. The numbers should speak for themselves. One of the things we've done is I've put 2010 and 2011. Why would we want to put up the difference? 2010 was an actual budget, so we, it's over. We know what actually happened. 2011, <coughs> we're operating on this continuing resolution because the previous Congress never did their job. They never passed a budget. I truly believe much of that is they didn't want you to understand what was going on with those numbers. So we're doing this limping along, where right now we're living on a two-week continuing resolution. We're fussing with each other right now whether we should do a three-week as we try to see our will the adults show up and negotiate something to get us to the rest of the year. The new House is working on the 2012 budget. That's where the policy will come from. That's where the rebuild. Right now, we're just trying to limp through and get us through September, which is the end of the fiscal year. Do I have anyone that turns 65 this year? God bless you two. Um, you are the leading edge of the baby boomers. Yay! Yay, congratulations. How many baby boomers turn 65 every day? 10,000 a day. So one every eight minutes. So one every eight minutes. Um, how long have we known you were going to turn 65? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the 
savings. You know, when we they were the, the designs and things like Social Security and these, they were going to set up the money, they were going to buy municipal bonds, they were going to do these things. Instead, here's what's happened. All the years you've worked, you've paid these taxes in. The cash shows up, and the Treasury Department creates a special Treasury bond for Social Security, and they swap it, they spend the money, and Social Security holds these Treasury Social Security special bonds. So if you get a Social Security check today, they're actually having to borrow money to pay because they spent all the cash. Yep. So um, here's, here's where we are. You know, we, we've gone along. We've had these years of debt. Now, we're going to get a little geeky, but I'm going to try to do this fast so we can have our conversation. Two types of debt come together. How many of you here, we have a $14 plus trillion dollar deficit right now? Okay. About half of that is held by the public. Half of that is held by? No, 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 no. You and I. Remember how we were just talking about that? Um, game, the three-legged stool of using Social Security money and borrowing it and giving uh, IOUs to the trade. Well, that's actually money we loan to ourselves. At some point, we have to pay them off, but it's not publicly held debt. Economists are much more concerned about publicly held debt. Why? Because if you check your right and you mail it to the pension fund, the teachers' union pension fund, or a nice family in China, that's money that goes out. And so public, this slide is about publicly held debt because this is the one the economists geek on. You see where we are? 2010 wasn't great. We had a nice spike there. But you can sort of see where we've been. Here's what happens now over the next 18 years as the baby boomers begin to retire or turn 65 because we get 10,000 a day, one every eight minutes. Hit the button. And that's the panic. Over the next 18 years, we have to sell massive, massive, massive amounts of debt um, to cover the baby boom population. And they've already spent the money. All that money and savings that was supposed to be there, they've already spent it and it's in IOUs. 